Hi YouTube, this is Care Bear. I am recording the video that I promised that I would today. So um, it is late. It's about 11, almost 11.30 at night. I was in my pajamas in bed reading a book and, um, and then I realized I had not yet done the video. So I hopped back out of bed, got dressed again <laughs> and uh, came back downstairs. I am suffering from a kidney stone right now. I passed a kidney stone probably about um, two weeks ago, maybe. And um, well, I have well, I've been passing them kind of um, consistently, or I had one that took a long time and kind of I passed it in stages. I don't know. I've had them in the past and they've never seemed to have taken this long, but the kidney stone is finally in my bladder and it just it kind of gives you this sensation that if you ever sat down to go pee and then after you're done you have this really strong like feeling like I'm not done peeing but you're not peeing anymore that's kind of what it feels like all the time right now like I I just it, I can feel it it's scratching my bladder anyway for anybody who's had kidney stones you understand for anybody who hasn't I apologize <laughs> I apologize anyway maybe that was way too much information um, I figure we've, uh, we've shared more personal things than that on this channel. So, um, anyway, so I'm just, I'm not feeling super great because I'm kind of distracted and uh, not, not very comfortable right now, but, um, anyway, so I kind of, uh, I, I haven't been on in quite a while as I'm sure you guys have noticed if you have watched my videos that was pretty much posting them once a week, once every two weeks, and I think it's been well over a month since I posted my last video, um, and I think I had made goals that I was going to drink more water and that I was going to work out more often. Um, I was working out, whether it was going and swimming and making sure that I was doing laps if I was in a pool or choosing to walk locally if I was, you know, going just down the street or whatever, you know, I was trying to do more, um, more of that kind of stuff, but have not made it to the gym. And it's very frustrating that I can't seem to have the ability, I mean the time, the time is there, my desire is there, my ability to go because I have a, you know, I have a membership to the gym is there. Um, but either I have to leave the kids home with my husband if he doesn't want to come with me, and if he does want to come with me, then we have to pay six bucks for two hours for the kids to go to the kids club. And, you know, so to do that on a consistent basis is pretty expensive. I mean, it gets more expensive. So I know it's really, it can be seen as excuses, but really there, that's my reason is that whenever I say I'm going to go to the gym, my husband wants to go with me. And then now we have to scrounge up $6 for the kids doesn't seem like it should be that big of a deal to scrounge up six bucks and it wouldn't be if it was just a one-time thing but it's every time we go to the gym now my daughter started um, school kindergarten and we're homeschooling so we don't have our mornings necessarily available the nice thing about homeschooling is that it doesn't have to be in the morning it doesn't have to start at a specific time um, but we prefer to do it in the morning because my husband then can watch our younger child um, before he goes to sleep since he's just getting home from work in the morning. So it's just, it's very, very much a, um, it's just kind of, I'm in a frustrating situation. I've been thinking about doing, I, I've been doing, I actually did work out a couple of times here at home too at night after the kids were in bed, after my husband was gone to work and just trying to do, you know, sit-ups or push-ups or, you know, arm circles or something, you know, even taking like a water bottle and doing, you know, the exercise like here to work my arms and, you know, just do, doing lunges across my bedroom, back and forth, back and forth, that kind of thing. So I've, I've tried to fit it in, in small places where I can and, um, but I'm not getting in that real big, you know, calorie burn cardio workout. So I'm just a little bummed that that hasn't been happening, um, if I'm going to be honest. And so I would like, I would love encouragement from you guys. 
um, maybe some ideas of what I can do. I have DVR'd some um, from Fit TV. We have a channel called Fit TV, which is a bunch of, I mean, sometimes it's just infomercials for like the, um, you know, PX90 or P90X or whatever it is, like workout programs. Sometimes they do infomercials for, you know, a bunch of workout stuff, but they do have different um, workouts, you know, half an hour, hour long workout shows. So I DVR'd a couple of those. Have I yet to watch them? No. <laughs> but I'm usually like, I did it upstairs because I figured, well, we're carpeted upstairs in, our, in my bedroom. And that way it's, you know, not a big deal. I can just kind of, you know, if I'm kind of feeling tired, then I can go upstairs and do it. Well, I always forget when I go upstairs, I'm in my pajamas, I'm in bed, then I turn on the TV and I was like, oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. I should probably do that workout video. But I'm already in my pajamas. I'm already too tired. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, but I'm just sharing with you guys kind of where I am. Anyway, um, my weight, I have no idea even when the last time was that I made a video of where I was weight-wise. I think I had broken down into the 160s from 170, I think, and had lost 70 pounds. I had broken through that 70 pound loss also. Um, so whenever that was, um, I don't even remember what my loss has been since that video because I haven't watched that video again. But um, right now, my current loss is 82.7 pounds, and I'm at 159.2. So um, I am I am continuing to lose weight. This last month seems to be a lot slower, but I have not been doing the workout. Um, when I was going to the gym, even if I was only going every few, you know, like once or twice a week, I was still working out really hard for a full two hour period. And so now my workouts are less often and they're less um, strenuous or, or, you know, not effective, but they're, they're I mean, they are less effective, in this, but they're appropriately effective for the amount of time and effort that I'm giving to them. So um, that's kind of where I am. I'm very happy that I'm still losing weight and my you know, meal choices are still very much, you know, very high in protein. I'm really paying attention to more calories right now um, because I find that um, I'm, I'm tolerating, like, I mean, I don't think my tolerances really have changed. I'm still, you know, bread is still out for me. Um, it's, it's very much a choice for it to be that something that I don't, um, I, can't, I don't tolerate well, but I'm also making it a, like an active choice that if I, if I am going to try and eat like a bean and cheese burrito, for the most part, I don't eat a lot of the tortilla. I will just, you know, either take a spoon and kind of just eat the bean and cheese, or I will just order a side of bean and cheese instead, or make a bean and rice and cheese so that it's a, a perfect protein, a complete protein, whatever they call that. Um, so, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's significant that's been going on. I know this is like kind of a boring video, but um, I get, well, this is kind of exciting. I kind of started out before my surgery. My size in clothing was 18, bordering on 20. Like I didn't buy a lot of clothes toward the end because I knew it for so long. I mean, I was like, I didn't want to go up in size. I didn't want to invest in any clothes. And I really had been just staying at an 18. I probably, if I was going to buy new clothes, I probably would have had to go into a 20. I did have a couple of pairs of pants that were size 20. Um, but for the most part, I was like, you know, extra, extra large shirts or size 18. But, you know, bordering or verging on 20. And um, now I am comfortably fitting in pants or short size, comfortably fitting in size 8 at a variety of different locations. So that's really kind of exciting for me because I've never been a size 8. For as, I mean, for as long as I can remember, ever. So, um, that's pretty cool. I'm excited. So, um, yeah. I went shopping. Okay, I think I'm almost done, but I just want to tell you really quickly. I went shopping the other day. Had a dresser, dressing room full of clothes. Usually, it was like a nightmare because nothing fit me right and I couldn't find anything. And my dilemma is now that everything fits and 
I think it looks fantastic and I only have this amount of money to spend. So I really have kind of traded a different, you know, one problem for another, but I will tell you I'm happy to have the problem I have. <laughs> I count it a blessing, not a curse. So um, anyway, I can shop in a normal store now always kind of had to go to a specialty store and so to think that I could really walk into any store and buy something you know find something that looks good it's like wow that's why people spend so much money on clothes I can understand anyway okay I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here because I don't want to go over my time and I would love to hear from you guys and I miss you all and thank you for being so patient with me and we will talk to you soon bye